Alright, we should be starting here any second. Alright, we are live and on the air. Welcome to the Foolish Tech Show. We're here to answer any questions you may have about our software or if you need any support or demonstrations. Otherwise, we'll just talk about random tech stuff that might relate to you, might not. If Otherwise, it'd probably be a good listen e anyway. Um, if you're joining us at Foolish, or if you're joining us at YouTube or Google Plus, jump over to foolishtechshow.com or foolishit.com slash live. You can jump in our IRC chat there. We have a couple of different ways to connect. And from there, you can talk to us, interrupt us. If we're talking about something else, you want to have support or demo of our products, we'll be more than happy to stop what we're doing and talk about that instead. But otherwise, I think we have a topic today of remote uh, connection software. Is that right, guys? Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Absolutely. Um, we were generally uh, going to compare um, what we would consider probably the uh, choices, the, the, the pieces of software that would fit the requirements of probably our, um, our, our, our most, uh, most of our users. Uh, it would certainly accommodate them. We're talking about brand, uh, the ability to brand a, a, um, uh, you know, your, your remote control application. Um, the ability to have concurrent sessions, at least um, a few. The prices do grow up dramatically when you start to increase the number of concurrent sessions. Um, virtually unlimited, you know, individual uh, PC support, um, but there are always also restrictions on the number of users, depending upon what product you're talking about, and and various other factors. It's very um, complex if you uh, if you just try to go to their websites and try to compare one versus another. At least that's what we found out. It, says, it doesn't quite work that way. You really have to dig for the specifics and the pricing is often offered to you at an extremely low point for a version that does not meet our minimum needs here, you know, for the crew I think we're talking to out there. So um, we're going to discuss that in, in more detail, all the specifics of that, and give you some idea of the pricing as well on the products, and maybe uh, in certain cases some individual experiences based upon our own uh, encounters with it. And, um, and uh, yeah, uh, Proctor, did you want to start out with one or two? Um, you know, let, let me start out with Ultra VNC uh, since, it's actually, since it's a free, uh, a free product. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go for free. All the other options um, are pay options to meet uh, our requirements. Ultra VNC uh, may or may not meet our requirements in its free status, but we put it on the list as a, at least as a point of comparison. All right, well, there are several, several versions of Ultra VNC. Um, your standard Ultra VNC, um, your single connect, and... Um, I think what I'm going to focus on is the PC Helpware version 2.0, um, and then there's also the the UVNC to me. Can you um, go ahead and post the links in the uh, in the oh, next chat? Yeah, if you don't yeah, mind? Yeah, yeah. So our users can follow along with you. I'm I sure would love for our cameras so can to see it. Yeah, I know, but some people, you know, can't read it, the small screens or whatever yeah. else, but it's, it's nice to be able to kind of open up another window uh, to view it along with us, I think. But, um, but anyway, go hey, ahead. Hey, Phil sorry, Tex, no. welcome. Oh, welcome, Phil. Hey, Phil Tex. Um, one, one difference in these two products is the Ultra, or four products, Ultra VNC, Ultra VNC SC uh, are governed by the GPL license. Um, which does not allow, which would not allow you to be able to bundle these into your own software package, if that was something you wanted to do. I thought that was interesting. So, so uh, one of our uh, one of our requirements was was you know being able to brand it, and so you can't have the GPL versions and brand it. In other words, or or is that well, what I you're saying? You can brand, I think you can brand either one of them, but you can't. But if you you can't bundle the ones that are go governed by the GPL into another product, like a paid product. 
Yeah. No, I, I so understand. I understand. Okay. You would have to. You would have to um, basically. Uh, what the GPL doesn't allow bundling of GPL and non-GPL software. So if you want to use the VNC or Ultra VNC SC in a combination with a commercial software, you need to create a separate installer or let your installer download the Ultra VNC. Uh, PC help So there's ways to work around that. There's ways to work around that. Yeah. 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 Um, the other two could be bundled without this restriction. Mm -hmm. The single I click, I know you can brand, and it's it's a fairly nice option if you're looking for something uh, quick, free, and easy. But lots of limitations. Um, I didn't really find it to be that easy, but it's definitely slow. It it's very easy once you understand what you're looking at and trying to yeah. do. Um, you do have to open up a port on your firewall. Or set up a little bit more complex uh, bouncer. I, I never got into that point. We just it's basically a relay, each, yeah, yeah, a each tech, relay. each tech, you have a port open on the firewall directed at their computer. They have a reverse VNC listener running all the time, and then the client gets the software, which you can brand and then just add lines to have the client double click on, and it creates a VNC connection to that waiting, listening VNC mm -hmm. connection on the technician mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of slow sometimes, and it is a little bit jittery, but I used it at one company that didn't want to pay for any of these remote support options, and we all used it. It was just a matter of sometimes you had to call them back up and say, hey, can you reconnect me? It doesn't have any reboot or reboot into safe mode options, so lot, lots of downsides, but when you're not paying for it, that's a pretty yeah, good upside. It's hard to argue with something that's free. Yeah. Um, but those are very important things to, to mention. Now, I, I don't know if if, if, uh, if any of that's changed, Brantley. How long ago did you use it, would you say? What, what year, time frame? Probably about three, four years ago. Okay, so you know, not not terribly a long time ago, but uh, we have noticed that some of these uh, some of the things have changed over the course of, of well, that time period. So. I noticed that that help desk one or the help whatever one is on version two. PC help one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one mm -hmm. was not as good uh, or easy to set up. I could never get it to work. So if they, I couldn't either. Yeah, if they made newer versions on that, then maybe that's good, but. I, I didn't you put too much time into it because I got the single click working pretty well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've been working on it for about an hour to get the helpware to work, and I wasn't able to get it to work. All right, I think single click is probably the um, uh, the the route uh, to go with that. Um, at least currently, because you're sharing his experience even with version two, right? You did use version two, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah I was using version two. Yeah, uh, so that hasn't I believe changed. The help the helpware. Um, has the ability to get through NAT without the repeater. It's it's uh, built in. It doesn't require you to open up a port. Mm -hmm. I believe. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, and um, all all of these products allow you allow for chat and file transfers. Absolutely. Um, um, the Ultra VNC um, and the SC do not have a connection manager to manage your, your devices, but the, the Helpware and UVNC to me, I'm sorry, no, it does not have a connection manager, but the, uh, the PC Helpware has a, has a connection manager which can be you know, helpful in keeping track of the systems you're working on or, or managing. Uh, can you clarify on Ultra VNC and my um, in the in the spreadsheet, um, if possible, uh, on the ability to uh, support Mac and Linux and uh, mobile iOS and Android platforms? I was a little bit unclear um, if it could offer those capabilities. Do you have any? Do you know anything about that? Uh, I know it's available for yeah. Windows and Linux. What do you say, Brian? I would say Mac and and Linux, it definitely can. Uh, there's probably some options for Android, but it's going to be quite the pain to set up and work out, and you're probably not going to gotcha. get the features that you're expecting. Um, iPhone, I doubt there's anything for VNC, but I honestly haven't checked. So. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that as a question mark, the, the mobile support um, for that. Again, it's a free product. You're going to have to hope that some uh, person in the community, um, you know, develop something, uh, but uh, don't necessarily assume it's already um, out there. Yeah, I'd fall back to those websites that are the emulator walkthroughs for that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Chasms and whatever that other one was. So, anything else on uh, on this one, or are we going to move on? Yeah, I think I think that pretty much covered it. it covers it on Ultra VNC. It, it's free, but has some you know limitations and harder to set up. Issues harder to set up. Um, you might get that version two thing to work, and if anybody out there does, please let us know. We had, uh, you know, we had the problems with that, so we'll we'll take another look at this free option if if it becomes a better choice. But I, I don't think this is going to meet the needs of most of our users out there. I don't think it's the ease of it, uh, implementation. You know, we our users kind of want to do what we like to do, you know, uh, automate, relax, get paid. So basically do something quicker, faster, easier, and more straightforward. So um, that doesn't I guess really if you fit. have uh, more time than money, then you might want to go that way around. Oh, uh, sure, sure, sure. And and, and with a relay, um, as Brantley had mentioned, uh, you can create a system that works um, in 90% in, in of the cases where, you know, maybe a couple of drop connections, a couple of little, little things, but uh, it should generally work. It's just uh, going to take some up keep and you know network uh, configuration and you know all those things associated but um, that's what you're gonna probably be required on anything that's uh, that's free that uh, has these types of features in it um, but the branding um, the very fact that it has that would make it a fit for all of our tech shops out there and uh, again the money issue so consider that um, now what we use here is team viewer now, Team Viewer is um, not the cheapest, I, uh, not the cheapest solution, but it does have our core set of features. Of course, um, it has uh, video conferencing. It has uh, up to 200 users, a um, thousand unintended devices. Uh, only three concurrent sessions with the um, uh, the enterprise version. Team Viewer Enterprise, which is what um, we the the lower end versions, and again you'll see those prices are much more attractive. But the lower end versions have severe limitations. For instance, uh, the next lowest version only comes with one concurrent uh, connection, um, and uh, the additional ones are over twelve hundred dollars to add on. So please, um, you know, this the list that I've compiled here is designed to have the compare similar products or ones that have comparable feature sets. And um, that's why I wanted to uh, express the base of feature line that I was uh, referring to. Um, so it also has a management console. It has mass deployment options. It supports video conferencing and all sorts of communications back and forth, you know, file transfers, everything you would expect. Um, I'm, all the paid options uh, have those, uh, generally those capabilities. And when there's exceptions, I'll uh, make note of them. Um, there's a full branch of uh, multi-platform support um, in Team Viewer, um, but the cost uh, is is a lot of times what gets people and some of their policies regarding their new versions. Team Viewer is uh, I've never had any problems with it. First of all, it's always it's worked. It's been extremely reliable. It's easy to use for all our clients. I've never had an issue getting a client connected. Um, it's uh, it's very familiar. Uh, it's probably the most one of the most widely used ones. Uh, I think uh, a billion installations was the last I heard um, for them. So, but it's three thousand six hundred and sixty-nine dollars a one-time purchase for their enterprise package with the features that I described uh, to you. And they put out a new version each and every year. Now they of course offer enticing upgrade offers to users to upgrade at a lower cost. But you're going to, if you want to keep on the most recent version, you're going to have to um, spend that if. If, if, if that's your desire. Now, there's nothing wrong with you keeping it or using an older version, and we certainly do that. The TeamViewer 11 is out, and I believe we're currently using TeamViewer 10. It's not uncommon for most people who purchase TeamViewer to um, wait a couple of years before going down the upgrade path because it will 
cost that amount of money. The advantage to Team Viewer is that it's a one-time purchase, but you know, with those restrictions, and so they're going to nag you to get upgraded after you know probably nine months into your purchase of the new product. <laughs> and if you've ever spent several thousand dollars on a product, nine months into it, you don't expect to be confronted with a multi-thousand-dollar additional bill. So. Um, this may not fit the needs of our smaller shops, um, and their their cheaper offerings are available, and you can check those out on their site, TeamViewer.com. I should post that. Jeez, I, I did. That. Okay, great, thanks. Um, um, uh, their you know, their lowest end option wouldn't be bad for a single tech, um, you know, shop, but it's it's going to be on the pricey side for a ting, a single tech shop. Yeah, and uh, the oh, let's see. Uh, I you know eight hundred nine dollars for you know with a one concurrent session so that tech can't even remote they, desktop into two people's computers at a time for yeah, eight hundred and nine dollars pretty, pretty limited yeah I I don't really see that as a reasonable point well, even and, the, pre and the pre even the premium version only offers you one concurrent session exactly and that so was uh, you're, I think you, you have to plop then. down almost four grand to get multiple sessions yeah and now you know uh, if you can live within these limitations I we cannot we can't do that here and we don't none of the shops that I've ever worked for have uh, uh, been able to get by with that um, I've Myself had frequent uh, concurrent success, uh, uh, concurrent sessions running, and I was one of a you know several techs that were employed. So I, I believe their pricing was increased quite a bit from version 10 to version 11. Um, really? Um, Pretty sure. I, I, I think with version 10, you could get into multi, into concurrent sessions for you know in the $1,700 range. Well, if you look. If you want to add, as I was mentioning earlier, if you want to add a concurrent session, each add-in is $1,279. And so by the time you get to our minimum of, of, of like two, you know, two or three concurrent sessions, you really actually start to get up to the, the, enterprise, um, the enterprise level. You could save a little bit. Uh, excuse me, the... Uh, the uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the premium plus um, twelve seventy nine. So that would put it up to, um, you know, twenty nine. You know, but you're you're you know within like a thousand dollars of 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 the uh, corporate purchase at that point, and it's again just two channels. Um, I I like the comfort of a third channel, but not all of our offerings uh, come at uh, that price point. Um, but usually there are options. Just check; they're usually expensive, um, and it's almost always um, a lot of times better to go with uh, the larger bundle. But all these places, they they have enticing prices on their low end, but they lack the features. This will be a common thread amongst almost all of the products that we have to talk about. Um, and I don't think you pointed out, but TeamViewer does allow you to to brand the product with your own brand. Oh yeah, I'm calling that a sta that a, a feature. I don't think any of these pay don't allow you to brand okay. themselves. Branding's common amongst all those. The only reason I was questioning, you know, VNC's ability is because of its uh, free nature, and I don't, um, I, I recall having branded it myself in the past, but I didn't use it all that much. Um, so um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for 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 Team Viewer. Um, these are just the first two, though. We have several more to go. We have seven other options that we're going to talk about here. So we can't spend too much time on each one. But um, do you want to take the next one? Um, we talk about. Are you ready, or do you want me to do another one? Okay, either way. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you talk about uh, log me in or go to my PC? One of those. Okay. Uh, let's do um, go to my PC. I think is that what I want. Yeah, um, for for what I'm considering the base uh, entry package, um, we're uh, I'm gonna you know what I'll I'll stick it up to uh, let's go with the three um, connections. Let's let's try to compare to Team Viewer's pricing here to give a, as a point of standard. So let's say we were our company was considering switching. What would we potentially want to look for in price? And so um, I'm looking at uh, go to my PC and it's thirty five eighty five. Uh, per month, 
Uh, hold on a second. Thirty-five eighty-five per month, and it's um, three hundred and forty-four sixteen a year. Three forty-four sixteen. Three hundred forty-four dollars and sixteen cents. And um, basically, this is for three concurrent connections. Um, and uh, let me see, up to 50 users. Now, that, you know, 50 users of the software, I'm assuming there's not, you know, there's not many tech shops out there with that many. So um, that is, um, that, you know, the pricing point on that is, um, it's perpetual though, you know, so this is every year, but $300 per year, uh, not too bad. And it offers the same feature set. I think it only offers, um, it, it doesn't offer server support for Linux. I think just Linux client only currently. Um, let me see. Do you have a, um, you have a link and, for, for, for them? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I was digging for one. I just found it. It's got to my PC.com. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Um, so I have, I have them all open here. But um, it has basically the same feature set as um, as our other products uh, in the list here. So, you know, it's got, oh, another standard feature I should be mentioning for all of these is they all offer secure connections, 128-bit uh, 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 AES at the least, and many uh, offer 256-bit AES and 128-bit um, SSL. Um, so uh, they you know, work really well with that. It supports all the usual stuff, uh, copy and paste, uh, um, uh, file transfers, you know, all the good printing stuff, all of these support printing redirection. I'm not sure about the free, I should have mentioned that. Um, what about, uh, uh, that's a good point of comparison. What about the Ultra VNC as far as uh, printing redirection? Does that, is that supported at all? Brantley or Roger? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, um, all these pay products also support multi-monitor support, at least in the newest versions of them. They haven't always supported that, so, uh, you know, um, but uh, the newest versions all support mu multiple monitors, making it very easy to both uh, connect to a remote PC with multiple monitors and use one yourself. Um, it's um, the one of the 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 way that remote go to my PC works um, has a uh, uh, an issue with our crypto prevent product if um, uh, if certain uh, local app data protections are applied if if local app data is is protected with crypto prevent um, let's create the uh, prevent uh, go to my PC from um, running in those scenarios with crypto prevent so I just wanted to throw that out there to uh, our listeners. If you're choosing the go to my PC option, um, you may want to uh, consider that. And um, leave. Does, um, does log me in have that issue? What issue? With um, crypto prevent, have you have you noticed it at all, or been encountered anything in a situation like that? I haven't encountered it. I haven't I haven't worked with log me in in a long time. Uh, yeah, you know this is a good point to mention though. Um, it, it may. Uh, yeah, I I, I I I have a question mark regarding that with with log me in, and we'll we'll talk about that uh, uh, more uh, with that one. But it's. Um, uh, you know, I would certainly recommend trying all of these before you commit to purchasing it, just to make sure in your particular environment it's uh, it's going to work. And we weren't able to absolutely test out all of these individually, um, so uh, with Crypto Prevent, but uh, we don't have any problems with TeamViewer, of course, and um, all the other ones we've tested with um, should not have an issue. But the ones that we do know about will, of course, mention. Um, the product so that I looked at earlier, uh, Michael, was uh, Bumgar. Uh, 
and it uh, takes a little different approach than some of the other ones. All uh, the ones we've talked about so far, and the other ones we're going to talk about are software as a service. Um, Bumgars is a it's it's a little more expensive. It's a lot more expensive than the other products. Um, <laughs> but you actually more. own uh, your a, a physical device or a virtual device um, that facilitates the connection and. What's the, what would be the reason for this is, is security of the data um, that's flowing through the, uh, mm -hmm. the server. Um, mm -hmm. If with all the other software as a service products, all of your data is flowing through someone else's computer systems. And um, with Bumgar too, don't they have higher level um, uh, security certifications as they, well? They, they did. Um, but they they seem to have they seem to be uh, co focused on uh, security a lot more. They're a lot more security minded, and I know that's a big topic we have on the show exactly. um, a, often. Um, and so we're showing you guys this. But you know, can you what what what's the entry fee? What what are you talking about when it's when you say it's over the top? Yeah, it's it's pretty steep. It's uh, the one time purchase of five thousand dollars. Ooh. And then a maintenance, a maintenance, an annual maintenance contract is 20% of the purchase price. So you're looking at $1,000 a year of ma for maintenance, which gets and you. And I you know, assume that's and, upgrades. Like oh, that. okay, yeah, yeah, okay, upgrades. So, so um, if you wanted to be stuck on a version, uh, you could potentially just spend the $5,000. Uh, but then you'd be at a snapshot in time. Now, how often? I know TeamViewer comes out with a new version every year. Do you know the release schedule for Bumgar? Two major update. Two major updates per year. Two major updates per year. So mm -hmm. that's um, that's twice as bad as TeamViewer. That's a very you know these are very important details to consider. Um, but you know if if you are if you do have the the bank to make that happen, and security is a primary concern, Bumgar might be the choice for you. And obviously, something of that price includes all the features we've talked about. Um, and this one actually does the 256-bit encryption, uh, 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 so you know everyone can feel um, confident about it. Yeah, and and if if you're if if you need the security and you're comfortable with uh, with the upfront price, a thousand dollars a year is cheaper than some of the other options. Uh, it's cheaper than renewing team uh, re renewing team viewer. viewer. Exactly, exactly. So um, you got to consider upgrades when you're talking about these things. If you don't consider the upgrade cost, it changes the landscape dramatically. Um, what is next? Y'all went into it about that upgrade cost on TeamViewer? Sheesh. Yes. We, yeah, we Good. did. Yeah, do, you, do, you wanna, do you want to, you want to input your, what your experience with that's been? <laughs> I was just going to say, it's kind of, it's kind of crappy if they have a, a, a product like that, that they, they want to introduce an update to every year that you got to buy every year. Instead of just putting you on subscription, it's not. It might as well because it's because it's you got to pay every year anyway. And the reason why, though, but this is the bad. The reason why that I don't like that is they they uh, tempt their users or your clients with the client software on their computer to upgrade to that latest version every not year, but like every ten months. Eight months, to eight, eight to eleven months, they're going to throw out a new, new major version. Seems like, and they're and they're going to throw the uh, yeah, and it's a throw major... all the free upgrades to all your clients. So when your clients upgrade, you can't connect to them unless you upgrade, and that costs money. Or you have to get them to close out their one and then uh, re-download it, or yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, it's like it's, it's a pain in the butt and. It's a total hassle to, to, I mean, you can get around it, but you're going to spend time with them on the phone, and that's, that's the whole point you're trying to avoid a lot of times. Yeah, if, so. if, you're, you know, if you're supporting 100 users, that's heck, that's going to take a long time. Yeah. So that really, really upsets me, and I just want to say that that sucks. Um, it'd be one thing if they didn't prompt their users to upgrade the client software. Or if, if they would limit it to the version that's already installed and not install the yeah. new 
Right, right. No new major versions. No new major versions. I think yeah. you can. I, you know what? I think you can actually disable that setting now. They have a no major versions update really? setting, but you can't. You have to go in and configure that crap. Yeah, yeah, they do. And yeah, you do have to go in and configure it. It, it is. I mean, it's. I think it's a very bad tactic for them to be. It's 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 a racket. It's 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 deceptive, is what it is. It's not like. Uh, yeah, you'd think with a billion users, they'd be satisfied that their product is the top of the the the, the chain when it comes to this type of thing. But, um, yeah. I, but I, I, I don't know what you guys have been talking about technicalities and this and that and the other. But my general consensus is, though, it's. I mean, of what I've used, it's the most reliable. And best performing for me. That's just been me. Yeah, the but reliability is very important. It. It's very reliable, but yeah, it. you, I have a moral issue with uh, with with them as well. Um, another popular option um, out there, I believe, is um, let me see. You want to talk about screen connect? Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Screen Connect, Michael. I haven't used it myself. Yeah, okay, so Screen Connect options I thought uh, was... Uh, before you jump into that, Nick, who was it that they got bought by? A ConnectWise. ConnectWise, yeah. LabTech. Connect La they were bought by maybe by, by Continuum, LabTech, maybe, or whatever, and then... Um, ConnectWise is the parent or? company of both of them. Yeah, uh, Screen okay. Connect. Uh, Screen uh, ConnectWise is the parent company of Screen Connect. What did you yeah. say, Michael? Yeah. ConnectWise is the parent company of Screen Connect. So yeah, this Screen is a Connect little bit. Lab tech. Thank you for thank you for echoing exactly what we've all said. Just said two of us yeah. said yeah. already. Um, oh, but, I didn't no, know you were talking about Screen Connect, I, and when you were said yeah. that. No, <laughs> he said no. Um, my my thing on that, and and my thing on the Screen Connect, Brantley, is that um, we actually looked, Proctor. We actually looked at Screen Connect a while back when we ended up going with TeamViewer last year. And it was, um, I, I'd heard such great things about it. I continue to hear great things about it. And they had that, you can put it on your own server. You can, you know, run your own server option instead of relying on their relay. Oh, nice. And, okay. yeah, and, but that was costly. But the other problem was is that um, we couldn't get the concurrent sessions we needed actually for cheaper than TeamViewer with TeamViewer's 10% well, discount or whatever they gave us. Um, for the, the corporate, price. it you actually was a good bit is. cheaper than screen than the Screen Connect option for the same concurrent sessions. Yeah, the 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 Screen Connect what I'm seeing here, okay, it's forty nine dollars per month per tech, uh, three concurrent connections. So it's dependent upon the techs you have implementing it. You know, for a three man shop, it's three times that price per month. You know, so that's one hundred and fifty dollars per month. I think but something may have changed though with their pricing since we have looked at it. Yeah, obviously. the changes, the, these things have changed on a rapid basis. So I encourage everyone out there to review these um, and even go back in case you know uh, weeks or months after the show if they've uh, changed the information again. But um, there's another limitation um, that it seems to have a um, hundred node limit on Screen Connect. Um, so I, I don't. You know, I, I, yeah, it was, I don't, I don't know. That was that's weird. going to be an issue. Those sometimes the devil's in the details. You really have to understand what you know access nodes mean. For um, us, exactly. the the issue the issue at the time was is that their idea of a concurrent session or a session or something in their terminology was different than team viewers. So we kind of had to do some conversions and and or think about things differently somehow. I forget how they were. Um, mm -hmm. You may want to to verify, but there was there was a different. There was a different terminology used, and it would have greatly affected the way that, because it looked that Screen Connect was priced cheaper. But when we really everything looks priced cheaper, exactly. Yeah, yes, how that's how and when we really investigated how the the licensing worked, it turned out that what we needed was TeamViewer for cheaper. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, but you might wanna you might wanna like double check because everyone likes to call something uh, different, you know, a session or whatever, a remote session. It means something different to everybody, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were 
me and Michael were talking about that earlier, trying to figure out how the licensing for all these things work. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, let me see. It, it it's very difficult to under you know to understand uh, you know the, the 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 what they define as a node concept. And in fact, you'll also find that it's contradictory on even portions of their site. So uh, I would get somebody on the phone, and also too getting somebody on the phone can sometimes uh, work out to your advantage too, because a lot of we um, we certainly don't pay for the Team Viewer 10 the price that's reflected on uh, the site uh, for what oh, we heck no. advertise. So, I so I encourage everyone. Here's 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 what happens, and this little known secret. Every once in a while, some, some it happens. Someone calls us up and just blatantly is just nice as hell and blatantly asks for a discount for no other reason, and we're like, <gasps> well, that was nice. I mean, just that they're so nice and just have good mm -hmm. things to say or whatever. I don't know. They just call and schmooze us, and we're like, oh, discount. Okay, cool. Um, you know, or whatever, and it doesn't even have to like a one sentence, like "Hey, everything's great, I love discount." And so I did the same crap to Team Viewer, and they gave me a discount. I did the same thing to uh, somebody else too, and they gave me a huge discount. Who was yeah. that, that gave a huge? I don't know, but since people have been doing it to us, I was like, "Oh, well, let me just try it with on some other companies and see what happens." And sure as shit. Um, I've had anywhere from 10 to 25 percent discounts um, when I've tried it. In, in general, in business, I'll always ask for a discount, and nine times out of ten, you'll get it. Yeah. Where I live, um, there is a um, there is a year-round resident discount at most restaurants, and even the fast a lot of the fast food restaurants honor it because hmm. of the tourism. Event. So like call Taco and inquire. Uh, Burger King, I think they quit doing it. Taco Bell does. Prior to you making your final purchase decision, call them up and talk the price over with them. Um, but like uh, Screen Connect, in my opinion, has one of the most confusing um, uh, licensing. Um, you know, for instance, the concurrent sessions, you know, are limited to 10 simultaneous sessions per technician and, you know, the whole per technician um, uh, licensing uh, for it. Um, you really need to consider what that implies and, you know, price it all out and again call them and say um, because it's, it's less clear for them than I think most of the others even. Um, let's see. We were looking at what's another one? Um, so, Remote View. Uh, our support has Remote View Enterprise, and it's a comparable feature set to what we were talking about. Um, it's kind of cheap, but it's a per PC connection price, and it's six fifty a month for a single PC, sixty five dollars a year for a single PC. Um, so it's gonna you're gonna have scaling issues with this. Um, I you know it's got all the features you could imagine, but if you're uh, doing remote support, remote view may not be the best option uh, if you're talking about having hundreds of PCs. Um, so I I think that effectively. What, what do you think on that, Proctor? I mean, does that even seem feasible for a, a tech business to do? It, it doesn't sound like a good model for, for smaller shops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, smaller sh <sighs> I mean, you know, but effectively, who is going to get away with pay, paying $65 a year for it? No one. Um, and... You know, I, 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 I guess you can never use it in a management sense. Um, if you're connecting, you know, to three PCs, we're talking about, um, I guess, uh, what is it, 65 times three? So $195 per year. <sighs> I mean, I guess, I don't know if there's a way to not always have it on the computers and keep that pricing low, but um, so, it's, so it's 650 a month per computer. Yeah, so so 
that for the for the feature set that I was talking about, um, you know, in other words, all the branding um, and to go over the specific features. Um, uh, it's got uh, it's got some exotic things like remote recording. Um, Oh, where's the, um, I'm sorry, the product specification. Here we go. Um, the thing is the enterprise level requires, uh, is, is necessary for Linux support. If that's not uh, okay, you can um, you can go with the standard. But the problem with the standard is it doesn't allow you to create a custom installation. So I'm assuming that applies branding. And so I wanted to guarantee that all these paid options supported branding. And so the enterprise option is necessary uh, for that. Plus, you don't get any multi-PC management with the standard version. Um, no favorites and email invites uh, as well. I think their standard version only supported ten devices, which oh, uh, you know what, how you how you could operate and only be able to manage ten devices. Exactly. So you know, they're, you're at least looking at enterprise. Now they do also offer a server version, which I didn't really go into the pricing on. You have to you know call and inquire about that. Yep. But uh, it basically you know allows you to host it and has all the features of enterprise. Um, just you do it in house, um, and and almost all of these places have those options. So if that's something you guys would look, or somebody out there is looking for for improved security, if maybe Bombgar isn't the right fit, um, you know that's uh, that's something to consider uh, as and well. Me and Michael had a really hard time finding um, a spec sheet for remote view. I'm going to post a link for that PDF file with all that information in it. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and um, the actual remote view site is um, I put that rview.com. Right, you put that in there. Okay. Yeah. I've just been left myself talking. Um, <laughs> but it's got all the, the, the features, you know, that uh, all the other stuff we've talked about has. Um, but uh, again, devil in the details. Most people would probably think the standard would be okay. Um, but the enterprise is necessary. Also, it's got vPro management um, and connectivity uh, as well, if that's something that's important uh, for our view, remote view. Um, Just want to do a shout out to Glenn. He's finally joined us. Oh, hey, Glenn. Welcome. Um, okay, you want to you wanna do Glenn! one? Glenn! Oh, oh, sorry. That job. Which logo are you using, Brantley, behind you? Uh, I'm working. I'm editing it around to see if I can get it working uh, right. But it's okay. it's in the the foolish IT uh, uh, F drive logos place thing. It's just it's just the one logo. I saw one a green one in there earlier. I I renamed or I added a new one. Expanded. I think I'm, okay. I think I'm gonna take it so it comes over this way. So it scrunches some more. Maybe I don't I don't know. I still cool. Yeah, well, I like that you, you raised it up so you could actually see Tech Show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but now i got to lower it because the IRC chat is in front of it. Because the IRC oh, yeah. chat gotcha. comes about to the, the foolish mm. line. So. Oh, the complications of our magic abilities here. Um, so, uh, Proctor, uh, would you like to pick up another one? Or uh, do you... I don't Done. think I'm well versed in the others. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll finish then. Um, uh, let's see. Real so, quick, Glenn said remote desktop app is close to his heart. Did y'all look at that? Uh, we haven't talked about that. I think we yes. talked about it, but didn't research it. <sighs> yeah. So, Glenn, if you want to point us to some links on that while they go over a different one, that would be awesome for our other viewers out there. And yeah, I'll post them in the that, show Glenn. description afterwards for other people. I'll do a little research on it while Michael's working on the others too. Okay. Um, so MSP Anywhere is uh, is an interesting option as well. Um, MSP Anywhere is um, forty nine dollars a month per concurrent seat for up to three users and twenty five dollars uh, uh, for uh, four to ten users. So you get a um, a discount. Uh, and 300 always on agents um, for MSP Anywhere. MSP Anywhere is um, uh, based off of Enable. Um, they are an Enable company, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to give you a website. Um, here. So there is, um, there's that. Uh, MSP Anywhere, of course, has the customizable branding. Um, it's got, um, 
session transfer capabilities. Um, I don't know if we talked about that so much, but you know, transferring from one tech to another. Um, um, you know, that's a useful feature. Um, what else? Um, you know, it's got all those communication stuff, uh, remote printing. Um, um, let's see what else. Um, great management <laughs> functionality. Um, it's got, uh, let's see, supports a multi OS like, uh, like the other products. Um, didn't uh, MSP and also has um, let me see it also has uh, some additional things uh, I believe as part of uh, management and re reporting on the computers. Um, where did I see that? I might not see that now. Um, Oh, and all of these have remote. Well, all these paid options have remote rebooting capabilities. Um, it also supports connection reports. I, I think that's where I was getting the um, um, for those attended sessions. Remember, um, so the pricing was uh, three hundred always on uh, agents, and those agents have session reporting capabilities. So it's it it, it is a hence the name, it is more of a, a managed services type uh, uh, remote connectivity software. And particularly I would imagine if you're using Enable on the back end, this might be the option that you want to, uh, that you want to look into. Um, so uh, I don't believe either that it supports uh, Linux and it only has server capabilities on the Mac, uh, at least last I heard. Um, so it seems to be, um, uh, no, I take that, uh, I take that back. Um, I'm sorry. I believe it, uh, it has full Mac support now. I believe it has full Mac support now. Um, and, uh, and, and full Linux support as well. My apologies on that. Um, I had some information from, um, it's previous, uh, what it was previously called. Uh, I think it was called Remote Anywhere previously before Enable purchased it and, um, added their functionality to it. And that's where the MSP Anywhere product comes from. Um, now, you know, it's the concurrent seed issue, of course, uh, that's the, um, issue. So, depending upon your scale and how broad you are, uh, forty-nine dollars per month or uh, twenty twenty-five uh, could, you know, may or may not fit uh, what you want. Um, let's see. What else do I have to talk about? I have a few more. Uh, did we talk about? Go to my PC. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Okay. And log. Did we talk about Logman Pro a little bit about Logman Pro? Maybe. I know we talked about it a little bit. Um, I think you might have just talked about or asked about whether or not it was had issues with Crypto Prevent. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, it offers the, basically the same feature set. I mean, there's not a whole lot. Uh, that, you know, that's honestly that these can't do and the interface to these is largely not there you know what I mean so they really can't go too wrong with it maybe with the exception of ultra VNC given that it's a little bit harder to uh, set up and configure uh, but um, log me in uh, pro has a great um, web interface um, and the pro features uh, if I didn't mention the pricing it's hundred and forty nine dollars a year for two concurrent connections um, $349 a year for five and $649 per year for 10. So that's, um, you know, that's, that's pretty, that's not, that's not unreasonable that pricing. Um, they also have uh, mobile support uh, as well. And I wasn't sure if they had support 
Um, for Mac, um, I'd like to know how many people out there are using mobile support <clears throat> or trying to do that even. What, 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 excuse me, what, what are you asking? How I many like people to, are... Yeah, like trying to give support with remote mobile support apps. Oh, yeah, <laughs> with mobile apps, yeah. Um, I, I thought this might be a desirable feature because I, I know a lot of our tech shops want to support everything under the sun. They'll fix Macs, they'll fix PCs, they'll fix Linux, they'll fix, you know, potentially mobile devices. Um, I haven't ever used... Um, that before personally, so I don't have a whole lot to share. Uh, Proctor, have you done I any? Think, I think Johnny has actually. Really? Johnny. Okay, let's. Sorry, Johnny, what was the question? Haven't you helped like your mom or dad with uh, their mobile devices? Yes. And oh, did, did you're you talking use... about remoting into their phone from your computer? Yeah. Yeah, I used uh, Team Viewer. So she used Excellent. Team Viewer and liked it, and that that would be the kind of situations where I guess it would be a play where you're trying to help them get something set up, like connect to their email or set up a setting or something like that. That does make it. Easier. I was able to have full access to their phone, like I had it in my hand. And that that's that's. That's good to know. And so I would assume that all of these, and remember, this is the this is LogMeIn Pro. That we're not talking about the, the lower end options because of the uh, lack of features to make our list here. Um, but I believe it may offer something similar to that. I haven't personally used LogMeIn Pro um, though, but the pricing seems to be reasonable. Um, it is a perpetual, you know, it is a subscription pricing though. So again, keep that in mind for the overall total cost of ownership for you know however many years, ten years or whatever. Um, but it also subscription systems are great, obviously, for the upgrades because you get the upgrades built in, and there's no additional purchase costs associated um, with that. So, um, you know, it has the usual, like I said, multi-monitor support, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, remote printing support, if I didn't already mention that, as well. Um, and it's um, uh, the uh, iOS and Android uh, both. Oh, and um, it looks um, like it might even have a Kindle app or something. For, or for Glenn's bit there, he was actually saying this remote desktop support connection talk that we're having is dear to his heart. He wasn't talking about the specific. Oh, oh okay. I, I was confused because there is a remote desktop app thing that's provided by Microsoft, but I believe it's just you get a remote view of a single app session, and I, I haven't, yeah. I've tried to set it up once or twice before, but it's more enterprise style, and yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, we were trying to, you know, as we said, Brantley, we were trying to have a certain comparable feature set, um, and we, 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 we don't, <clears throat> I haven't seen anything based upon RDC, or, or, you know, or RDP, rather, um, I, it hasn't fulfilled the needs. Yeah, no, uh, the ease of use, the remote installation. Uh, I wonder how mobile support is working in that. You know, I, I don't, I don't think they're these are going to have the options. But uh, it is, it is, you know, it is another um, option out there. There's, there's a whole lot. Oh, I should post. There's a, um, but there's a Wikipedia. Real, real quick, real quick to answer Glenn's uh, bit there. He's looking for something that is a cheaper alternative to TeamViewer and works better over satellite. And if you haven't looked at Screen Connect, I definitely would say check it out, especially. I mean, it is it is a much cheaper alternative if you're a one-man shop and you don't connect to like eight systems at one time. If you just work mm -hmm. with one mm -hmm. client at a time remotely while you're working with them. That is a much, much cheaper alternative, and that's what drew our attention to it first was Screen Connect. Not only that, but we've had several D7 customers uh, tout how much they like Screen Connect and using it. So there's a lot of good that's things true. to say that's for true. Screen Connect. It just depends on how you work remotely. Um, and what I was saying is that, uh, or what we were having an issue with is, like Michael was saying, we'll we would be connected to six or eight 
Like with Ultra VNC single click, when I was doing remote support that way, I would easily have seven or eight different systems set up while I was upgrading a, a doctor's office all at once. So um, that's a different working aspect than what Screen Connect was geared towards. Although I was mm -hmm. talking with NetHunter and he said that you can have as many concurrent connections as you want. It's the concurrent users is what they were based off of and maybe that's something they've changed in their price recently but um, well uh it's always worth a call like we said so yeah definitely all right you can continue on now michael <laughs> no that was uh i appreciate that so i just posted a, a, a dated though i wouldn't I would hold uh, the information in some of the, the charts that are that are there with a grain of salt, uh, and and ver 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 definitely verify it if you could. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, and uh, Screen Connect was um, adopted by ConnectWise in February 2015. Are you lifting weights while you're talking about this? Yeah, no, I'm 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 just running around. <laughs> Dude, I was sitting here thinking, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's he's getting really um, choked up about this remote desktop connection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I don't have. Uh, I was trying to cut it at right around an hour, and we're about there. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, the devil's in the details. I mean, again, just take away those big points from all this. Um, you really don't have to worry about multi-platform support anywhere, possibly with the exception of Ultra VNC. Uh, so that should be a given. Um, you know, concurrent sessions with all the prices we mentioned today is a given with at least three concurrent sessions. Um, I believe that's a minimum a tech shop out there should uh, be able to get by with, um, based, you know, certainly based upon like Brantley's experience. Um, and you know, and then the pricing per your usage case, you know, there's a lot of subscriptions uh, pricing models out there, and there's a lot of one-time pricing models. The downside to one-time pricing models is they're going to make you pay more uh, again with the upgrades and the maintenance packages and and and, and things of that nature. I um. I do want to throw out real quick too that um, the place that I was doing it for, we were a medical software support company, so we weren't a tech shop per se. So yeah, having is issues with our tech software was not as big a deal, whereas you may want to think about it from the client perspective too, like images, everything. Um, it may be worth making this large investment to have something that works smoothly, works all the time, you get great commercial support from, and there are a lot of things that go into these larger packages that you're paying a lot for. Um, the, I mean, if you did the if you MSP features, MSP Anywhere would probably be, a, you know, a go-to option. And, and again, Bombgar had a specific usage case that really fit it well. The, um, the Bombgar one actually was used by the uh, medical company that provided the software, and they had little to no issues. It was kind of a hassle because it installed on the client's computer, so I, I didn't like that aspect of it, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. So there's no portable or otherwise? Not from what they had set up now. This was a large Fortune 500 company, so they're not exactly the most organized. Mm. Um, that could have been part of it. And their support was outsourced to India, which could have been another part of it. But <laughs> again, the image is everything type of thing kind of goes with it. And I'm sure most of them would be fine doing trials or money back guarantees or something like that I would imagine. Yeah, I, I think everything that we looked at had a trial. Everything yeah. has a trial out there. Yes, absolutely. So playing uh, around with it, getting some of your best customers to be guinea pigs for you, that's 
definitely a good route to go and then taking that uh, point on and making that large investment it will pay off down the road especially if your business needs something like this if your business doesn't need remote support you might not want to be looking at these type of options anyway so that you, you definitely have to take into account what you're doing how you're doing and how mm -hmm. it's going to be perceived by the customer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know if they don't have a smooth experience with it if they have a lot of trouble connecting to you each and every time you they you know provide support they might not call you back the next time um, but a lot of these tools also create uh, calling card applications um, maybe not with the, quite the feature set that we have in the support suite, but um, they effectively enable you to usually have a one-click connect to uh, technicians. And so MSP providers, you know, that's usually they have to have this. But almost everyone, every tech shop today, I've not seen a tech shop that didn't do remote support. Have you? I mean, this day and age, uh, Brentline, I, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't, I don't think not let having me think of the last support time I went to look for tech shops. That's I, I think that's it's true. pretty much an expected feature these days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, it does save you time and money. Though. I mean, sending someone on site to do something that you can do remotely is a incredible huge. waste. You're wasting yeah. gas, time, uh, all kinds of things. Mm hmm And, um, you know, everyone, wherever you can save a penny, you need to do it usually if, if you you're a startup. A, so. If you have to send a tech on site, you're, you're only getting revenue from one client. If you have one tech working on multiple remote Think sessions about that. at yes. one time, then you're going to increase your, your income because they're, the, the tech is going to be more, more efficient. Um, and it's it's you know while it's hard to focus on a tremendous number of concurrent sessions for an individual tech, we don't necessarily condone or recommend uh, overburdening them and demanding that they all have ten concurrent sessions open simultaneously. Uh, you know, but uh, certainly one you know there's there's keystroke waiting, there's uh, mouse click movements that you know can be uh, basically minimized or reduced with. Uh, with uh, these types of programs, and you also want to make sure if you go the low end route, you need to understand the 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 connectivity. You want to be able, you want them to be able to connect to you, and you want you to be able to connect to them. And with some of those options, Ultra VNC and others, it might not be as easy to go both ways like that, and to have the quick connect uh, connections. Uh, it can, um, you know, the single click, um, but um, you need to go through a couple of extra hoops to make that work seamlessly for all your people depending upon the network situation. So um, again, um, use these things out and if you're and then put yourself in the in the in the user's shoes. And uh, but they the feature set though today is pretty strong. I did not find a single product out there that lacked the fundamental feature. Certainly none of the pay ones. Um, some questions about the you know uh, ultra VNC against capability being free, but uh, even it's an option. So I, I don't really have anything more to, to add about this. There's obviously going to be specific usage scenarios, but um, TeamViewer has been the far the most reliable, if that makes any sense. But there's frustrations galore with its uh, pricing models. So we don't know. There's no one match, one fit out here. I don't expect the, all the tech shops out there to uh, I'll agree on what is the best choice for this, but I hope that this um, slight yeah, overview I, of all I the different it, ones will help. I think it still comes down to uh, Team Viewer and Screen Connect are probably still our most recommended. And Screen Team Connect, Viewer. yeah, absolutely. Has, has anyone has anyone at all looked at our Zoho? Zoho Assist. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I'm just I wondering. No, I haven't have that around to it. That's included. Okay, I didn't know well, that. It's a no, free it's free. Product. It's oh. a free product. Yeah, it's entirely uh, free. free. It's There's got to be some limitations. I, I have the plugin. It's, it runs from the Chrome browser. I don't know if that's the only way or what. I have the plugin installed. I guess. I guess that's the the. Look into it. Soho Assist. 
Yeah, they, ha they have a free plan and an enterprise plan. Their free is uh, unlimited groups, private, public, five custom applications. I'm not sure what that means. That. One chat room, one group. Um, hmm. That's not sure doesn't what. sound like the tech usage case that we're talking yeah. about, but well, that's just enterprise. It. Who knows? Maybe it has some cool new features. Who knows? Some features you're not used to seeing. Chat room? What? No. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it. But um, I will say this. I love absolutely, well, I almost love everything Zoho does, it seems. It's just that they don't communicate with each other very well, and I don't love that, the different Zoho products. And and further, the, the I mean, the Zoho people, I don't know, they actually kind of remind me a lot of me, and it's kind of frustrating. Because <laughs> hmm. when I'm dealing That's with some of them, That's some of the times I'm like, and like I'm just like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why does it do this? Why do you not, can you not, why is it not acting the way I would expect it to act as a customer? And it and, then, too. and they're thinking and they're thinking on the maybe like the, the the coder level, and finally one day it hit me. I was like, oh, that might be trouble. Yeah. So it's a uh, Zoho supports Zoho Assist rather seems to be a yeah. It's, Zo it's Zoho thing. Assist, not Zoho Connect. Yeah, Zoho Assist seems to be you know multi-platform. It runs in a browser basically. So there's um, no installation associated with it. That may or may not be a plus. Um, so there are free versions: one technician, one unattended connect computer, uh, unlimited sessions and duration, remote control, instant chat, multi-monitor navigation. Uh, for paying. me, the reason why I haven't tried it, I installed it, but uh, the cr plugin for Chrome or something on my on my PC. But the reason why I did so is I was hoping it would work from my Chromebook or for my from my Chromebook from my Windows PC or I don't know. But it it wouldn't. It there's it it does Android. It doesn't do Chrome or something like that. Yeah, well, that's a that's that actually case? another option now that you mention it. Uh, Chrome Remote Desktop has a support yeah option, and. But it's definitely not a, a business level setup. Oh no! And Zoho Assist doesn't. No branding with Zoho Assists, right? There's no. Isn't that an issue with Zoho Assists? Yeah, there, there's no branding unless you you purchase their paid product. Their paid product is either twelve dollars a month per technician or nine dollars a month for fifty computers. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, but they give you a little bit of flexibility there, then, don't don't they? With the pricing model, you could do it either or. Like well, we're gonna have to like really or... look and dig into the details and find yeah. out exactly what that means, and that may be a case of getting somebody on the phone. I yeah. know about. I don't know about actually getting somebody on the phone from Zoho, but hopefully there shouldn't be. A... Oh, I see. It, it starts at at, at twelve dollars a month per technician. Unattended access is an add-on that costs nine dollars per month for fifty computers. Oh, okay. How deep did y'all go into VNC? I've been I've been coding on Kill 'em All. How deep did y'all go into VNC? The one click, Brantley. They, I didn't hear you talking, Brantley. Did you talk, Brantley? Yeah, I talked yeah. to the very beginning. Oh, oh I wasn't listening. I wasn't. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Shoot. We went over. Well, I was interested. I was interested in that one click thing. I was interested in that one click thing and how well we could do something with that. I used to use Chunk VNC, and I was just wondering, due to the the nature of the licensing, if there was something that we could do with that automated for our people. Just. But 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 it would be a moot point if it's not worth using or if there's a drawback or limitation My, or something. I was yeah, just wondering if it could fit in with it. I I wouldn't feel like it would, um, just because the uh, the fact that the tech PC has to have a port open and then having the remote listen and I there's it'd be a lot of stuff to put into it. Um, it may be something nice if you could work it into a web interface, but 
past that, I wouldn't. Well, can you? I mean, what do you mean the tech piece has to have a port? Like, see, um, well, when I set up Chunk, you had to set up your own repeater server, and that could be like, and it, I did, I did on premises it before. I would do it in the cloud now, and it was just a matter of using that as a relay. That I could never get the repeater stuff to work for me when I was trying to set it up, so. I so, but I I used the chunk VNC variant or whatever. Yeah. The, oh, apparently yeah. the guy already did all that, you know. So it was just like uh, applying and and like you could brand you could like he didn't provide a method, but you could tweak it, brand it. How about this, Proctor? Just have it doubled up. Not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the idea of VNC being open source and being able to tie it into other products. So that's always a, a good thing. Well, I, you know, a lot of these remote software companies, the smaller ones and the newer ones, have got their start by using VNC stuff. So. Mm hmm well, I know there was one that we didn't talk about, Amy Admin. And that one's gotten a oh. lot of traction, but I like to see. Really I used that free, like a billion years ago. Yeah, yeah, I used that one a billion years ago, but yeah, we actually and it was we like, used it at the same time at the shop. Yeah, and it was real sketchy. It was like it was kind of sketchy because it only came from some Russian website, yeah. and there was all this, you know, it was just a little sketchy. And then um, there were, uh, you never did. I never did really look at it or investigate it too too much, but. Um, it, uh, you know, I guess, like I saw a lot of really, really bad, um, you know, uh, talk here and there some years later about it as it started to grow in popularity. And I noticed that there are several, um, they went, they went pay only real quick. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was to me at the time. Yeah, when we were using that shit, was like TeamViewer, man. It was almost as good. But yeah, they do have a lot of sketchy options, and it, I I didn't look much into it. Past that, so. I there were there were some weird there were some oddities about it that I have no recollection of, but um, there was more than one that just you know I was like. Eh, 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 eh. Uh I just I forgot about it a long time ago. Glenn says it's, wrote used, it off. it's used by many scam techs. He has it in his auto remove list. Oh. Well, I know they do. Um, that that would probably make a lot more sense. I've seen I've seen Amy underscore admin as uh, you know, usually following Win32 dot. <laughs> you know. And, like like in, in virus you know in, in, in virus detection lists yeah. and things like yeah. that you know so I guess it was probably used a lot for that yeah I could see that <laughs> Michael where's your green screen um I've got the uh, I, I I got the uh, it came at about 8 p.m. last night uh, I've got the case you can see it right here oh wait no you can't um. I'm just got to set it up, and I haven't done that yet because I was doing the research today on those different options and pricings and stuff. Um, but Proctor says I'm gonna basically have a problem with this getting it set up. It's gonna require three or six people to set up. And oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it just took Proctor that because he's half a person. No, that's right. <laughs> that a short joke. <laughs> that was. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's got a nice bag, though, Proctor. I mean, you know, the little bag that it comes in. Oh, yeah, the bag it came in is nice. thing is, I'll never use it. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe I'll use it for something else. Except, did, it, did your bag have all the little stupid the, things? The bag's probably worth 30 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, that that wasn't the entire cost of the the thing. Thirty bucks, thirty five bucks. Yeah, yeah thirty five. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have this up soon, and we're gonna see green screens. But they, I remember my green screen costume will will not be here for a little while longer. Johnny, oh, has did you order? Too, did you order should... the costume? No, I haven't ordered the costume yet. I'm okay. just joking. Okay. 
But uh, I'm very tempted to, so I can just like not have to worry because it's breathable. I can breathe in it. So, so can we look forward to seeing you on on camera tomorrow with your green screen? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll make that promise to everybody. Then I'll show off on the camera Friday, and I'll tweak, try to you know tweak it, and then hopefully from that point on. Johnny, why maybe, maybe I just had an screen. idea. I don't know. She's I'll got it, it all tomorrow. hung up like girly style, so it looks like a. Y'all know that if I actually get mine up at some point, then everybody else better have it. <laughs> mine is up. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny's oh, is up. She's just not using it. Uh, Mine is up. See? So what is this? There's no instruction. <laughs> Mine is up. The ceiling <laughs> is up. <laughs> is it? Look, let's Trying see. to protect the Sistine Chapel over there? <laughs> <laughs> so do I... I mean, what's the instructions for this, Proctor? Um, put it up. Yeah. <laughs> Erect. Yeah. Or shut it up. Oh my. <laughs> so I've got all these poles. There seems to be four poles. You did the Festivus thing again this year, I see. Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us. Dude. Hmm? That's a dumb old television commercial. Mm. Stop it. For Seinfeld. Syndicated Seinfeld. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> no, we're oh, not wait. giving Michael the option to cut out his face. That takes way too much processing power, and we all know he doesn't have it. Stop <laughs> insulting my computer power. <laughs> This is not acceptable. He did get uh, a new I computer. This one's running a Dorito. What? <laughs> a Dorito? For a project. Oh, a <laughs> you mean like uh, Weird Al? Yeah. yeah. Got my new processor. It's a Dorito. <laughs> this chip is a Dorito. Oh. It's the hot and spicy one. It's yes. Really hot. Ah, ha, 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 yes, ha, 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 you know, he's getting old, apparently. Well, I mean, it won't be until it's summer, then it's going to be really hot. Apparently, apparently, apparently. As I explained, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to, it's not, it doesn't change temperature, so, in other words, it's fine. Just, just, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that is enough for today. Unless anybody else has some stuff they want to throw out there. Ooh, ooh, I did, I did. Go for it. Let me find my... My Explorer crashed recently, and... Okay. The icons aren't in the taskbar. There's some of them there, but most of them aren't. Ah, yes. Um... Uh, um, ARS Technica, if you don't do that, or if you do... Oh, this will go to my ceiling! This will go to my ceiling! Shut up about your ceiling. Um, this link here, um, they take a, they, 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 they got, like, a journalist into NASA's, you know, vault with their, uh, you know, moon yeah, rocks I and all that, that crap. That. So, I, I, I'm reading um, that yeah, article. I threw that, one up, yeah. I threw that one up in there earlier, and um, when we were talking about remote sport, because uh, I didn't want to forget. But there was that, and then um, actually, this is 100% dumb for most people. It was kind of dumb for me. I um, I used to watch the X Files back in the day, and I hear they're coming out with a new one or something, new series, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They, I've been uh, watching the old ones. Glenn threw out something. The, I don't know if it's the series or just like a couple little special episodes. It's not a full series, I don't uh, think. I think it's a mini series. Uh, yeah, I think it's yeah. like a TV event. 
Like over um, a couple of episodes. Uh, well, that little link will take you to everything you need to know before watching it if you missed all the first crap. I watched like the first, I don't remember, two or three or four seasons. I Maybe some of the third or fourth one. I don't remember. I just couldn't. It was, it just got... I mean, it, like, it started off to me with, like, an awesome, cheesy sci-fi feel, and it, they took a lot of that out. <laughs> so, so um... Kind of get serious sci-fi. I know. And I, uh, but, um, and then they, uh, and then they caught, they, they just strung that other plot too long and went too crazy with it, I think. But, anyway, so I actually need to catch up on a lot of this junk, apparently, too, if I'm, which I'm not going to watch it, actually. I think I'm only going to watch documentaries for this year. Yeah, see that. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good choice. I watched, um, and speaking of documentaries, actually, um, before those ones. Gosh, look up uh, Anonymous Official's YouTube page. They have um, the, uh, or you probably find it on anything. I was watching on that for some reason. They have the, 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 the story of Aaron Schwartz, the full documentary. I was watching that last night, and that was that was really good. Huh. So. So where do these Look bars up. go? I don't understand what these bars do. We had a we had a movie night last night, and we went and saw the forest, that one about the Japanese suicide forest. Was it good? It was. It was a. I mean, it was a. a How do you know what these are? What one? What? Nathan Link. I don't know what. I don't know what movies are. I don't know what they're out there. That it was. A, to know that. I'll get I'll to read the paper. Yellow. The, uh, it was one of those, like, like, shock, like, surprise shock films, so, I mean, most of those points were kind of obvious to me, Johnny still jumped on most of them, um, but it had a really good storyline twist, so that, that was its redeeming quality, I, I would say watch it just for that storyline, but it was kind of slow and, uh, some of the previews looked way cooler, actually, that it had on there. Um, what the hell does this work? There's one, I think, called The Boy that's coming out this year. That one looked really creepy. <laughs> Just like now looking at Glenn's joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's sorry, it's not, it's, it's not as good as no pun intended, but... <laughs> That's Which apparently, first. what was it? Me and Brantley like that, and no one else does. Michael does. My, I like it. I like does. it. Yeah. Oh, I no one else does. Oh yeah, no one else does. I like it. Like what? No pun intended. The no pun intended joke. Oh, oh, oh. nice one. Do you know the no pun intended joke? I don't think so. Do you remember? Oh, you oh it doesn't even hey. heard it. Was it today? It wasn't here. No. <laughs> okay, okay. So some guy who wanted to make another man smile told him uh, ten puns. And he puns. wasn't holding his packer either. In that. And he wasn't holding his packer. Ten puns. Um, unfortunately, no pun in ten dead. But, um... Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, was, it, was, it was way better when Glenn told it in text. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ruined it for you, actually, because you gave me a bad mental image the way you started that. Oops, no key. Um, I did. Work? I did see one interesting thing. They have a remix OS for the PC. Um, that oh yeah, yeah. That was a little while ago. <laughs> that, that was interesting. Dude, yeah. I yes, I wanted to talk about that too. I saw that. Uh, oh wait a minute. Remix? No, no, no. It's Android for x86, but redone so that it makes more sense running it on a desktop. So, like, the interface and stuff is a lot more convenient. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. But, um, gosh, what was it? That, um, balls. It's a new Linux distribution, or it's it's, but it's kind of not a Linux distribution. It's like based on it's it uses Linux, but it's not. It's aiming not to be, I guess, a Linux distribution or something. It's really aiming to be an OS for users. What is that? I can't remember. It seems like it starts with an S. Hmm. Um, I hang, oh, sorry. Hang on. 
Glenn said he's the king of dad jokes. You have to be a grandpappy to qualify for that. A B B D A B. I got I got an A a B a B and 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 a and a D. Where's the C's? Michael, turn your camera on so we can help you put together a stand. Are we off oh. air? Oh, no. I hear you putting the stand together. <laughs> Are we, or is the show over? No, we're still on. The letters didn't help me either, Michael. Just put it together the way it looks like it should go. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to put them in order or something? No, I think the D's went together and the A's went on the outside or something like that. Okay, Roger, where's, what's your picture of? Oh, it's just a random location in, in North Carolina that uh, I'll be at tomorrow. Uh, you know, I like to, to, to visit various different uh, locales in North Carolina. You know, I was in Asheville um, a few weeks ago. You just take pictures of those locales so you can... Well, this is, this is a special locale. I'm not sure if anyone recognizes where we're at, where I'm at. Where is that? Oh, John, get in here. Proctor, Proctor's challenging you. I can't challenge oh, this last one, the D one doesn't fit into the B one. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it should. Is that Michael's house? Stop it. God damn it, I don't want this work. One of those it is Michael's house. It kind of looks like your driveway. This isn't fitting in, Matthew. What's wrong? So there's your two B's in the middle. And the D's got to go on the end, and the A's got to A's got to go on that side. Well, maybe the A doesn't go on this side. Maybe the A goes on the other side. Well, the just just yeah. keep in mind that the uh... maybe the A goes on the B side. And no, that can't go that way. Right. Well, the, oh, the, 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 the ends have holes in them. The, the two far ends have holes in them for the, for the bolt to pass through. That doesn't go in there. Does it go in here? Let's see. Hey. Oh, God. Okay, finally. Okay. Nick, do hey. You know where... right. That fits to get is... that. Yeah, he's at Michael's house. Why? Why is that on there? Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Why Are we on the air? the air? Yeah, we're still on the air. We're listening wow. to Michael have uh, trouble setting up a stand. Oh, dear. Why it's do you have a picture of Michael's house? Um... Thought we'd, we thought we'd surprise him tomorrow and host the show from his house. Oh, cool. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? Where is... That is not my house, is it? Out on oh, the God. front lawn so everybody can get a good oh. look of your house. Oh, thank you, Tree. I love you, Tree. <laughs> look, you can oh. see it right there. At least I was nice enough not to pick the angle where you could see your car, too. <laughs> Please, yes, thank you. Zombie, oh, are you taking note? You can find that on Street View. <laughs> <laughs> it's a random oh, street you, view you just ripped that right off. Of, oh, I bet you could Google search, image search that. Can you do that for maps? I don't, I don't know, know if you can do that for Street oh, View. Man. That would be wicked. That's that's bad. <laughs> what's, what's going on right now? That's bad. <laughs> Yeah, so my B end won't go in the hole. You must hear that oh, a lot. You know, it, um, two of them, <laughs> I had a really hard time getting it to insert. You just have to work it in there. A little spit yeah, right? goes a long way, Michael. <laughs> Shh, Bradley, we're serious here. <laughs> I need. I need a fuck. Oh, this is horrible. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> I really wish he would turn his video on. I no, do I don't. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to stick Somebody those two poles together. The, 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 other three, the three went together perfect. This last one will go on, and I can't switch it on the other end because it's a different connector. The one at the other end has, uh, it goes, I think it was. Oh, I didn't talk about it on the air. Y'all, um, David Bowie was passing the other day. Um, did y'all know that in 1998, he came out with his own ISP called Bowie Net in the U.S. and the U.K. And um, what you got was a CD with, uh, with, with the Internet Explorer on it and the dial-up connection reconfigured and um, some uh, bonus tracks or something, it's fan stuff. And it took you to Bowie Net, Bowie, DavidBowie.com when you logged in and, and you had um, a DavidBowie.com email address. Just apparently, kind of, obviously it fizzled out when DSL and then cable came around. But Glenn has another dad joke. Glass coffins, uh -oh. good idea or bad idea? Remains to be seen. <laughs> Michael, why are you God, setting Michael. it up in front of your camera? I'm not like an obvious. I I am setting it up in front of my camera, but I how how do these two why things won't stick to together? I, I'm not lying to you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, this you is, are. This is not. This is not. This working. is the after show, y'all. Yeah. This is not working. Celine Dion's husband died. Oh, oh! I just clicked on this actually right before the show. I haven't had a chance to even look at it. Brantley, would you like to fill me in on that? Thanks. Oh, God. oh got a phone call. I got it in, guys. I got it in. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, How about a God. little happy dance to celebrate? I'm not oh, celebrating that. Happy, yeah. You hear? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, ya, yeah, outcast. That's all I'm going to play right now. Ricky boy. So how do you attach this, then, to this? Ooh, what I missed. Apparently, take it away. Um, all of the, the lifetime subscriptions that I've seen have not had good reviews as far as their being a VPN service provider. Oh really? Yeah, cool, I've cool. Seen a couple I, other you're ones. the you're the you're the one I'd ask. I mean, I just like I don't even bother researching stuff like that. I just ask Brantley or Michael sometimes. Depending on which one? What what were you asking about this time? Shut up. If you if you see private internet access, if you see private, oh, private internet access, go for lifetime subscription. Buy yeah. that up. But past that, most of the other ones I've seen have not been good as far as recommended versions. Like a lot of them have issues with their customer support. A lot of them have data leak issues. Oh, thank God he's closed. <laughs> so did you get the rods connected? You did turn my camera on. Um, the rods connected. Yes, I got the rods connected. Right. Did he get a stand? Yeah, he got the same stand that Proctor got. I'm thinking. You know, I was thinking. I was thinking before um, the PVC tubes, pipes, but tubes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I think it was a tube. So I'm not going to get the ones that are qualified for drinking water, but uh, or to hold any liquid actually. But the PVC tubes, they um, are a little flexy at that. High, at that, how how big are your? Because I heard how you mention Brantley a shower was? curtain rod. Well, how would a shower the... curtain rod? How we, how long is? We have the. Straight, how's that working? Yeah, we have the straight curtain rods and we got the largest ones you could get which I think were 102 inches 120 120 inches and it works great 
I don't have any issues with it. How? We used the clips yeah. that came with the screen. Oh, and 120 inch. They slide well, back okay. and forth. Proctor, no Proctor. How many yeah. clips came with the, came with the, um, the, with the the green screen? It comes with three. So how did you attach it? We got it to four. This? Yeah, we got four. Really? Oh, because we got ours from Canada. Apparently, did you did you not see the did you not see the texture thing I put in there? And, and I mean, in the, in the BitTorrent sync was that working? I mean, not the BitTorrent sync, the the, the stinking own cloud thing. Michael, Does I used uh, one on each end at the top and one in the middle at the top, and on the bottom I used uh, on the bottom I used these. Can you see that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I know what those things are. Something like this. You see that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that I did, Nick. Bigger. I was doing a project earlier. <clears throat> I did, Nick. The 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 ASCII one, the echoes were throwing it off, and it was too white, so I had to change its color, and then I changed it more because I I wanted to have it off centered, and this is what I've ended up with. Oh, it's cooler than being. Cool. Oh, do I have any pictures to sh Oh, no. No. Better not. Oh, these clips aren't going to cut it. I'm going to do this. Proctor, did you use the big clamps on yours? On the bottom. Oh. So the Michael, bottom. you should uh. be using the circle clips on the top. Well, you and Proctor are tripping me out. What? Hey, can mean? I can I just say that, um, uh, guys? By the way, update the uh, kill 'em all issue that um, I had uh, with the updater before Christmas, and I was like, all right, oh, f it, going to Christmas, yeah. and um, just I figured that thing out just during the show earlier. And that's it. Yeah. so it's all good. It's all good. So I think I'm going to release that maybe tomorrow. I did. Um, I noticed a few minor things that I'm I'm taking care of. Like I have what's called a fast track version, and it's going to be like the old D7 pre-release where um, you'll be able to get the stuff. I mean, the idea is is that it's the zero day fix. It's the new feature thing. So, and then there'll be the release version, which is the, you use this in production version. Um, the only issue that I had was, is that in the update system now, I also archive the old executable that gets replaced. So, um, by version number in your local folders. So, um, uh, like the only issue I just had to fix right now is like the, it's 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 archiving a fast track when it should be archi archiving it uh, labeled as a release version. That's, everything else seems to be working great. I think I just want to go through it again because I haven't looked at it in a few weeks. It seems like and um, actually yeah, but um, now that I finally got that solved, I want to just go over it one more time. Oh! I would appreciate you guys' help tomorrow. Yeah. Just okay. final, final, because we were already pretty final on it before, but I'd appreciate everybody's help tomorrow if I could. Um, sure thing. Testing, I mean, breaking, I mean, testing. Yes. Testing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Michael, you almost <laughs> got it there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is good television. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, it would help if you're on the other side of the green screen. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Wait a minute. How much does that rod cost you, that rock, curtain rod? Ah! Ah! $25. How much? It did not. It was like 30 Thirty dollars. Okay. Um. Bing, 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 bing. I'm going to the hardware store tomorrow, and I'm gonna grab a two by four. That's gonna be way cheaper. That'll probably be the best solution. Hey. 
and I'll turn it sideways and put it up, and that way it'll be nice and cut, right? You know, won't be like the bendy part. And, and I will uh. hang it from the ceiling. And then staple it to the floor. <laughs> well, ours, ours, the curtain rod piece is in the ceiling, and then the curtain rod sits in that piece, and then it just slides back and forth. Like the um, the little hookies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, slide back and forth. That's nice. That is. The that's, little... that's been my like favorite sanded. part about it. Actually, the... yeah, I'll just sand it the hell down. Do that with. The... See, I can the, just little, the little clamps that came with it, Orange. they, the circles fit right in the curtain rod, or the curtain rod fits right in it, so oh, they that, can uh, slide. That's yeah. right. Is in the curtain. Did you poke Circle. holes in the green screen? No, nah, we just nope. used the clips. Okay. Should I have SparkleCam uh, video source selected or SparkleCam virtual webcam connected? Webcam. Virtual cam. And guess who engineered it? Johnny did. Hey, hey, I was going to give you credit for it. No, I actually did it. She engineered it. Oh, crap. You smell like a Philly cheesesteak? I gotta go out to eat in a few, and I forgot to put on deodorant after my shower this morning. I just noticed. <laughs> thought I thought I was with and was like, oh, uh, hmm. That must Better be most of the day. Look, we can see Michael. <gasps> Well, gosh, put the thing on the thing so say something, you can see Michael. his face and stuff. <laughs> Look at his funny face. <laughs> hey, Michael, I'm just kidding. Stop looking at me. We can't hear you. What, huh? Stop looking at me. We, we can't hear you. Huh? Michael, Michael are you there? Did you lose your audio during this? Stop. Oh, man, he lost his audio again. <laughs> Why is it always that? I don't know why he always loses audio. You need to format that thing, dude, if you can still hear it. Stop us. this! I'm tired of a new computer. computer every time. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> probably has that, that, that BIOS malware on it. Because we can hear you and it's funny. <laughs> he is way too close to his camera. Yeah. His eyes are going to go blind. <laughs> Back up, I can He's see like your nose sitting. hair. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, if you sit that close to the screen, your eyes are going to go blind. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Man, that All right, is, well, uh, guys, I've got to run. My, the oil pan has been installed on my car. Yay. Oh, okay. All right, Yay. don't forget to check your oil hey. every yeah. fill up. And hey, does remember it start? To oil is it locked it? up no. still? Oh, no, it wasn't locked up. It just didn't have any oil in it, so you couldn't run it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I was, I was, uh, I was, hold for some oil reason, in the thinking it had locked up. It said it locked up. Oh, no, no. It, it didn't, like, you know, it didn't the lock engine up. locked up. I was like, you ain't going to get all by with a wool pan, really? But, okay. It, it could awesome. happen. Yeah, I went in for a $20 oil change and came out with a $400 oil pan installation. Mm hmm. It's, well, it's better you found out. What his problem was is that the guy before the guy um, probably stripped the nut and he had a leak. Yes, yeah, so almost all the oil had leaked out. Luckily, it hadn't, you know, Michael, it didn't you have to have the and... foolish IT logo. If you had your green string. <laughs> I said, ha ha, that's what you get for going to a quick lube place. And he says to me, no, actually, it was the guy's next door, the business next door. Yeah, and they were, they were like a, they're a local Honda shop. A local. Mm. That's what you get for going All to right. a local shop. See you later, yeah. Proctor. All right, later, guys. Later. Take care. Oh wait, is he doing the show? No, I am. Oh. Okay.
Michael, you missed the boat on being able to do different green screens. You got to do a foolish IT logo one. Okay. <laughs> I love everybody. Thank you, Zombie Worm. You're a little late saying goodbye to Proctor, but thank you. <laughs> He's delayed. <laughs> he can't. Help I know him. we're on delay. <clears throat> Five stories. Just so I just pie. got a female mouse. <coughs> um. I... Huh? She I got a kinda... female mouse so that we can breed her male mouse so that we can feed my snake for free. Oh. Except I put them in the same cage and she fights with him. I gotta get out. Um, I mean, we're on the uh, air, aren't actually, we? Actually, so. I I vividly recall raising Siberian hamsters as a young and and selling them back to the pet store once I bought them. <laughs> Seriously, and um the I had a ginger and buddy and um man they worked overtime but let me tell you when ginger she didn't like buddy really you know I mean she took it. But she didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> so, like, when God. they were wow. done, um, he always ended up spending his time. He actually, I had, like, a, I could even afford, like, a top for it. I had built, like, a like from cardboard and, like, mask and tape because I didn't have duct tape and had holes in it. And, like, that Buddy would jump somehow through the cage, like, the cage would jump up to the little hole in the ceiling and get out and just sit there and chill like mm, he didn't go anywhere he just he wanted to be around his youngins I guess which is I don't know I don't, it's weird I guess for the animal kingdom for the male I, I don't know where I'm going with this but it, um, in any case the point is is that yes yeah, she was mean as hell to the mate and um, not only was she mean as hell to the mate but she also ate a, a young and or two here and there. They say they'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, Sunday. you might want to you might want to construct some place for the male to go when when the female's done with him. <laughs> oh, awful. good lord! That sounds awful. <laughs> hey, you know we're we're only around really to like you know to club stuff over the head and bring it home for dinner. But um, we think, but what we're really around for is impregnation, and that's it. That's what that's all we're here for—the male of the species. We're not necessary. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> oh, so sci-fi episodes coming back again. So, and, and in the animal kingdom, they're just like, I'm done with you, go away. You know, the tarantulas that eat the men, the males? Look, she is cute. She's evil. She's like a silver looking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you got to... Oh, that is cute, though. Female mouse. I'm so done with that story. <laughs> the males all ended up tailless. But it That blocks how much the light in my room. But it's just, the, but it's in it. Hmm? Oh, gosh, hi, Johnny. <laughs> Shoot, did I mess up? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just um. Are we done? I hope so. Sure. I gotta go to do the thing. I gotta the go. Eating thing. Yeah. Enjoy. Have a good dinner. And you as well. Until um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm hungry too. So.
Cheers, Ooh, everyone. Nick, hey, uh, watch that YouTube link that I posted. That's why we're breeding mice. He's like, you know what I did? I got into farming. Cheeky bastards. You see this money? Why is money? it showing me? Is it not showing me correctly? No, your camera's off. No, right. we're just seeing your thing. Are you going to show yourself again? Yeah. Oh, my camera's off? Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, you tried to turn your camera on? Because your camera's been on this whole time. You're set. <sighs> I was about to say, just turn it on for him. <laughs> I'm now you hungry. got the control. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. Let's all do that. Yes. All right, Zombie Worm, uh, Filth X. I know you're not listening, but you'll probably watch later. And Glenn, thanks all for joining. Everyone else, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, check out our live schedule at foolishtechshow.com. You can jump in our IRC anytime. Somebody may be there, somebody may not be there. And we're more than happy to answer questions and provide support on our software. Otherwise, we'll talk about anything. But we will see you all tomorrow, Friday at 6 p.m.